you never would want to like do that with them loaded. So it's one thing. Make sure they're empty. You see how it goes in and out of the holster now. Howdy, Hillbilly Nation. This is American Hillbilly. <laughs> Man, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are once coming to you again today with product from Craft Holsters. Yeah, <laughs> these holsters are just wonderful. Um, I appreciate Craft sending me these holsters that they have because they're wonderful holsters. I feel very fortunate to be able to have these holsters because the quality is great. Um, I'm just really, really liking each and every one of them. And yeah, you've seen some craft holsters on this channel before. We have the carry holster, outside waistband with metal clip. Uh, great holster. I've carried this a lot. I mean a lot. And it's still holding up. It's wonderful. And we have our Western rig right back there. Another great holster. Uh, yeah, I don't carry that as much. Uh, <laughs> but I have used it quite a bit, um, and it's wonderful. I really like it. Looking forward to uh, using it even more. But like I explained before, uh, if you watch my other uh, videos, um, I do like carrying outside the waistband. Um, it's just my preference. I mean, everybody's different. And so when we had this holster, this works great. I really love it. Um, I carry my dagger in here and or a Glock. Um, this thing works great. But if you've been watching my channel, you know that I ended up getting a full size dagger from PSA. Yep. Um, it just fit my hand back better and all that. And so I've been carrying the full size dagger. Um, which is awesome because they take the same slide between the compact and the full size. So that's a sweet option that you will not get on a Glock. But as you can see here on this one, um, I have a Viridian RFX 35 green dot optic on here. And their new C5L micro light plus laser. Yes. And I am really, really, really liking this. Yeah, I mean, this is this is a great setup for me. Um, this is my preferred carry right now. Yeah, I really, really like it. I'm happy with the Viridian products. I'm happy with the PSA products. And, you know, I want to shout out Viridian and PSA both. I want to thank them very much. Uh, they are affiliates of mine. And you can go to my link tree and you can find discounts in there. I enjoy the craft holsters so much. I'm like... I really want a craft holster for this. So I reached back out to craft holsters, told them what I was looking for and all that. They sent me this. Yes. <laughs> Look at that. It's a nice holster. Now this particular one is the paddle holster and it is fully adjustable here and everything. I wanted to try a paddle holster. I've not had a paddle holster in the past. Um, so I was wanting to try this. I don't know about you, but around here, when it's hot out and humid, uh, we're shorts a lot. I think a paddle holster would uh, work perfectly for those type of situations. So this is straight out of the box. I've had it for probably two weeks now. And I have not put anything on the holster to stretch it out. I have not used their small braking kit yet on this or anything. Because when I got it, is it was it fits it it was fairly tight, but I wanted to see okay, what would this do like if I if I did not put anything on here to break it in you know stretch it a little bit and stuff. So let me show you here. It goes in. It is it's a little tight right there. I mean it definitely is not coming out, <laughs> and I can draw it. Yes. But I just want to show you this because I think I want to go ahead and stretch this a little bit and break it in because with this on my side, like I said, if I'm wearing shorts, you know, I don't want the gun to fall out. But, you know, you try to pull it from up here and it's a little tight. 
I mean, it's pretty tight. So, anyway, we're going to do a break in on this and see what the difference is. But I will say this the mold, everything fits perfect. The light fits in there wonderful. Um, the coat and the sights, they slide through here just fine. Um, I don't think there's any problem with the holster. It's molded good and everything. It's just tight. If you do get a holster, either it's from Craft or wherever, and it's a leather holster, and it's tight like that, don't worry about it because it's an easy fix. So what we're going to do with this is the same that I've done with the other Craft holsters. We're going to take the Craft holster small break-in kit. We're going to take the squirt bottle of break-in liquid right here. And we are going to spray the areas of this holster right here. Probably work on the top, all this. Uh, we'll hit down here in these areas and stuff. And probably go inside some. And we'll take this dauber right here. And we can work it into the leather. You know, really nice. We also can go inside the holster and work it on the inside. And then the next step. That I do will take like a I like to use a ziploc if I can get one all the way around my gun and seal it. You don't have to, but the ziplocs a little thicker than like the Walmart sacks and stuff. So depending on how tight it is, is how many sacks I'll wrap around. So I think this one I'll probably start out with this one ziploc, and then you know once I get my ziploc on there. I'll wrap it with, you know, a stopping bag. Then you just shove it into your holster. Get it all in your holster and let it set. I don't know. I've heard people say, you know, you can just let them set, you know, till it, till it dry. I like to always leave mine set overnight. You know, give it a good 24 hours. I've seen my, grand, my grandpa, my dad, and everybody break them in. And so I'm just kind of following along the footsteps of stuff they did. So, I'm going to get all this ready, and we'll see you guys back here in just a little bit, which will be probably uh, at least a few days for me. All right, guys, we're back. It's been, I know, a week, maybe a few days after that. I haven't even got a haircut since i seen you guys just a minute ago. <laughs> yeah, and I, one reason I let this set, um, I didn't have to or whatever. It's just I had another... Uh, pistol that I was carrying and stuff. I want to try it out for a little bit. And uh, anyway, I got this all done right here. So let's pull it out and see how it does. So, okay, get that out. Take the bags off of it here. Okay, and also, of course, it is empty. No magazine in it. Nothing in the chamber. You never would want to, like, do that with them loaded. So, it's one thing, make sure they're empty. Let's see how it goes in and out of the holster now. So, get in there. Nice. It's still snug, but not, not like it was. So, it still has nice retention on it. And I like it. Um, I will carry this for a few days. And like I said, if... Uh, I don't like the release on it or something. If it's, you know, a little too much retention or something like that, I'll just wrap it with three or four of those paper bags or a Ziploc, you know, whatever, just to make it thicker and to take up that space. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to be carrying it and seeing how I like it like this. So, anyway, it's pretty easy to do with leather holsters. I love them. I want to thank Craft Holsters again. Uh, I really, really like this. Um, one reason I wanted the paddle holster is uh, summertime I wear shorts a lot. And like I told you guys, I like outside carry. So I think this would be really nice uh, carry for the summer for me. So anyway, you guys go check out Craft Holsters, will you? I want to thank you all so much for watching. Remember, God, family, and country. Make some things stay better, will you? And if the good Lord's will and the creeks don't rise, we'll be seeing you again. I love you, Hillbilly Nation.
Look at that face! One less can of hard seltzer in this world. I'm proud of myself. So this is what everybody really looks like when they take their mask off after guns, beer, and therapy. 